Today on our 2016 Toyota Sienna, we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the Draw Tight Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75237. All right, you'll see this is the hitch once we get it installed. We're going to have that rounded cross tube. It's going to go across the rear of the vehicle, meets in the middle here at the receiver tube opening. It's a Class 3, so we're going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. And the Class 3 hitches are really very, very versatile. Just about all the different kinds of accessories you can find for a hitch will fit into a Class 3. You'll see there's going to be two holes in the hitch. The one that's closest to the front of the vehicle and largest, that's the one we use for securing all of our items. It's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter and we'll want to use Class 3 rated accessories. The one located behind it is for the J-Pin stabilization system, which is just one of many different options of stabilizers out there. You can see the reinforcement collar. It's got kind of a rounded look to it. It's going to be inside of the bumper slightly, so we won't have to worry about bumping into it or anything. Get a nice plate style safety chain connection point area with a really large, nice open connection area here. Something I like is that they have welded a tab on here with three pre-drilled holes. So if you're gonna be doing any kind of wiring on the exterior of the vehicle, you could get brackets that would attach there and help you to secure it. Now when it comes to towing or hauling bike racks and cargo carriers, we're gonna have a 675 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we can put here in our receiver tube opening. And we've got a 4,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's gonna be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we might load up on it. Now if we decide to move into a weight distribution setup, our tongue weight's gonna stay the same at the 675 pounds, but our gross trailer weight rating, that's gonna go up to 5,000 pounds. Of course, we do need to check the owner's manual on the Sienna. We'll see what it's rated for, and you'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now, a couple measurements that are gonna be helpful when it comes to selecting ball mounts, bike racks, or hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening. We've got about 10 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four and a half. Now if your vehicle is equipped with this panel underneath the backside, we're going to get that pulled down and out of the way. Uh, we'll be trimming it and putting it back in place or you can just leave it off, whatever you want to do. Putting it back in place does give it a little bit cleaner look across the back though, but it is optional for you. You can see we've got some Phillips screws across the back here. We'll get these pulled out. Also across the back side here, there are these large, they're basically kind of like a nut that you would just push up on the bolt. But if you use a large Phillips or even a large flathead for that matter, you can get them to come down and off. And just like that's what you're looking for. to the outside edge on the passenger side and the driver's side and we'll have the same style fasteners there. We've got a couple push pin fasteners across this forward edge. I'm gonna leave these two, those will be what we take out last. That way they'll just hold it for us. For these, you're gonna pull out the core and then the whole thing should come out like that. Now, if your Sienna is equipped with the added on mud flaps here, we need to pull the little Phillips screw out of there. Just like that. And we'll just push that panel over out of the way and we can put our screw right back in. Now we're going to do the last two push pin fasteners here. And just work our panel out. Alright, now for trimming out our panel. You can see we've got one, two, three, four. That's where those black Phillips screws were all the way. This is the very back edge towards the rear of the vehicle. These were the fasteners we had in the front. Basically, we want to retain the four holes and the two uh, Phillips-style push nuts. The one hole on the end here 
It's all the way over on the driver's corner. This is going to be going away. So we'll come right in from that hole. You can see there's a corner edge right here. From that edge, we want to go kind of right back to that point. And just like that. And then we're going to be following this line all the way around. And then when we get over to this edge, it'll be about two inches before the end. We're going to come down kind of just like that, right over to that corner. Now the material, you can see it's really flexible. So a razor knife's really all you're going to need to cut it. The smaller piece will be the part going back up. And a larger piece we can set aside or maybe use it as a sled. Now to give us a little bit more flexibility in the exhaust here so we can kind of get our hands in there, there's a hanger right here that we're gonna remove. Usually if you just use a little bit of spray lubricant on it. And then a big screwdriver or maybe a pry bar in behind it, it'll usually come off there for you. give us just a little bit more room to work. We don't need much. All right, now we've got three attachment points on each side. You can see there's three stickers that kind of cover the holes and then there's a little rubber plug. We can leave the rubber plug, but we want to pull down these little stickers. We'll do that here on the driver's side and the exact same thing on our passenger side. We got the same attachment points on both. Now we can get our hitch raised into position. It's a good idea to have an extra set of hands to help you out with this. We're just going to align our side plates with those weld nuts. Then we'll take our hardware. We're going to have a bolt. We're going to place on a lock washer, then a flat washer, and then those get threaded right up into the weld nuts. Now once you've got three or four good turns on one of them, you just kind of let it rest there. That'll allow you to get the rest of your hardware started. All right, now with all of them started, let's take a quick look just to be sure we have our hitch centered on the vehicle. And we'll start snugging those down. Now we'll grab our torque wrench. We want to check our instructions. Listed in there are going to be the torque specifications. We want to go around and get all of our bolts torqued down appropriately. Now we can get our exhaust raised back up into position. Just so we'll gonna slide that hanger back. Then we'll move on to getting our panel replaced. You can see the just kind of push on style nuts there. We just wanna get it back, tuck this lip in. And once that's tucked in, we'll just align those studs and press up on them. And we'll replace the four screws across the back. Now with our panel back in place, that's going to complete the installation of the Draw Type Max Frame Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 75237 on our 2016 Toyota Sienna.